Hello and welcome to Sajeeva Vahini. Today, we are going to be talking about the five bad kings of the Bible. The Bible is full of stories about powerful rulers and some of them were not always the best leaders. These kings, who are often described as evil and corrupt, did not always live up to their responsibilities to their people and to God. Let's start with King Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the first king of the northern kingdom of Israel after it split from the southern kingdom of Judah. He is often remembered as a bad king because he established false worship, including idol worship, to keep his people from returning to the temple in Jerusalem. The next king on our list is King Ahab. Ahab was the seventh king of Israel, and he is often described as one of the most wicked kings in the Bible. Ahab was notorious for his worship of false gods, particularly Baal, and he even married a woman named Jezebel who was an avid worshipper of Baal. Third, we have King Manasseh, who was the son of Hezekiah. Manasseh was known for his cruelty, and he is said to have practiced human sacrifice and other abominations. He also led his people away from the worship of God and into the worship of idols. Fourth, we have King Herod, who is infamous for his role in the story of Jesus' birth. Herod was a paranoid and ruthless ruler who was known for his violent temper and his willingness to kill anyone who posed a threat to his rule. He is known for ordering the massacre of all male infants in Bethlehem in an attempt to kill the newborn Jesus. Finally, we have King Nebuchadnezzar, who is known for his role in the Babylonian captivity of the Israelites. Nebuchadnezzar was a powerful and brutal king who destroyed the temple in Jerusalem and forced the Israelites into exile in Babylon. These are just a few examples of the bad kings that are mentioned in the Bible. While they may have been powerful rulers, they were also deeply flawed and ultimately doomed to failure. So why do we still talk about these bad kings today? Well, their stories serve as cautionary tales about the dangers of unchecked power and the consequences of turning away from a god. By learning about the mistakes of these kings, we can avoid making similar mistakes in our own lives. That's all for today's vlog. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.